Oh, 99 crafting and I'm still smashing gems. All right, RuneScape. Calm down there, man. Literally a master. Plus one. And give me that ninja implant, please. Yeah, there we go. Rune Warhammer. Oh, split bark helm. Probably going to elk that. I have the goal of getting the granite mall. And for that, I need lots and lots of cannonballs. And to make cannonballs, I need lots of coal and iron. I'm going to be trying to get a lot of my own coal by mining, mostly at the mother load mine. First, I want 85 mining at granite so that I can have access to rune when I'm at the mother load mine. Also, I might as well just get 92 mining because that's the level for Amethyst. When I'm on the offensive, like when I'm killing Black Chinchampa Hunters, range is one of my best assets. So Amethyst arrows would be really sick. All right, let's get this started. Uh, I might need to go in Resizable, but I'm gonna try it without it. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Wait, no, I'm not getting it. All right, there we go. Not, wait, I'm not dropping anything. That's a problem. This is hard. I don't know how to drop things at the same time. Uh, I remembered I got some dynamite from raids, and blast mine is a lot more fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do the next run correctly. I think I, I think I already messed this up. I think I'm going to take damage from this one right now. Maybe not. Ooh, we didn't. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so it looks like we're taking a bl what? Uh, blast mine from break? No, we're taking a break from blast mine for a moment and doing this medium clue here that I just got from this place. Uh, yes, which will I need? That's sufficient. Let's go. There comes a time when I need to fix up my house. All the rooms are kind of scuffed. Uh, at least I know where things are, you know, our down portals right there. Pretty beautiful, but once I do get 99 construction, it'll be so nice to just, you know, have everything in my house, pimp it out real well. Should be really fun. And the ornate pool as well at like, I don't know, I need, I think I need 82 herb lore for that. And then I can boost up to 87. Yee, there's the key. Beautiful. Don't, that's very rude. Green DI chaps, more free to play Pekang. I'll take it. Don't hit a five. Oh, I healed up. Yeah, no sixes for you, buddy. So almost, well, yeah, one more uh, dynamite to go until I'm done with Blast Mine for the foreseeable future. Until I do raids again, which will actually be this video, I'm going to do uh, some raids. Hopefully get some Dragon Claws, you know, you never know. Could happen. Uh, one in 1,000 chance, we'll see. But yeah, so I'm going to move on back to the three tick granite uh but yeah i decided to why not use up the dynamite here i'm actually gonna go collect am i done yeah i, I put everything in the in the sack yeah yeah i'm good all right so i'm gonna actually go collect the stoof that i have so i'm gonna wield my full prospector i think i get 2.5 percent boost with this and i might as well also bring a teleport out because i'm gonna be heading uh back down to the the desert of alcard so uh, but yeah, so pretty much just going to collect from the operator here and booyah, baby. 52k mining XP. Lots of ores as well for the smithing gains. 49 runite ore. Woo! Wow. All right. Look at that. 5 mil GP just sitting in my bank. Beautiful. This tab is uh is looking really nice, you know, with the, with the exception of the uncuts, which I did to get 99 crafting. Uh, but yeah, let's go do some 3-tick granite. And there we go, 84 mining. Beautiful, nothing unlocked, but one to go until I can mine Runite, which is really good money per hour. I think it's like averages out to 700k per hour with the mining and smithing combined. So yeah, Rune Swords, here I come. I did it, hell yeah. And there we go, 85 mining, Runite ore. I can now mine, beautiful, hell yeah. Alrighty then, 43 guams. I think that was from two, 1.8 herb runs because I did bank some guams before. Uh, but now that I have 85 mining, I'm going to go do mother load mine because it's pretty AFK and now I'll get rune ore from there. And the legend, help me out there. Thanks, man. All right, how many nuggets do I have? 13, not too hot, not too hot. But I hear the restricted mine area is a lot more AFK. So that's where I'm headed to next. I got to get 87 more nuggets. So I'm on the way. And the first nugget. Beautiful. I don't think I've gotten a single rune or yet. I have only done two inventories. Actually, three inventories. If I collect this one, please give me a rune or. Oh, man, I haven't had one yet. 
No. <laughs> but at least I got another nugget. Hell yeah. And give me the first fruit ore. Yes. Oh, and a nugget. Beautiful. Hammer? Hammer? No, I can't. Where is? Where are the hammers? Are they in the crates? Yeah, there we are. Alright, so now I can fix this water wheel for the first turn, or the broken strut for the first time in a very long time, because I usually just, you know, let other people do it for me. That's a lot of smithing XP there. Uh, let's, I guess, fix this one too. There we go. Not bad. 256 XPs. And we didn't get the nuggets. Damn it, man. Oh, I just needed one more. All right, next turn. Next turn, we're getting it. Yes! Oh, finally. That is a beautiful golden piece of nuggetry. Uh, let's pull out the 100 nuggets I have and buy access to the upper level, which I think is, like, significantly more AFK. Hey, congratulations. Thank you, Iron Man Jim. 86 mining. Beautiful. 87 mining coming in, only 5 to go for Amethyst. And nuggets! Hell yeah! Alright, now it's time to buy... Well, is it worth it to make this thing able to hold 200 instead of 100? I don't know. I really don't. Bigger sack, like... It just doesn't seem worth it to me. I don't, uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, GG. That's like 2,000 soft clay I just got rid of. Oh, man. All right. Well, we'll deal with it. We made an investment. Let's see if it pays off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I got really sick. Sorry if you can hear that throughout the rest of the video. Let me know if you do. Imagine doing this manually. Oh, man. But here we are. 88 mining, beautiful. I'm one level off of 89, where if I wanted to, I could go and get Amethyst by boosting up with the Dragon Pickaxe, which gives me a, uh, a visible plus three boost there. Uh, so that's one level off, that's level 89 currently. It's level 88. Three levels that I've gotten so far, four to go. Hey, look at that, 89 mining. You know what? Uh, actually, at 80%, I'm going to go over to the Mining Guild, which is not that far away, and I'm going to go mine my first Amethyst. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, man. This is so AFK. And yeah, look at that. It took pretty much an entire minute to get that one Amethyst. Hey, I'm such a knob. What? From five pay dirt, I got two golden nuggets. What? <laughs> And another level coming in, 91, beautiful, just one to go until Amethyst, looking forward to that very much, oh man, 16 hour day today, let's uh, show you the XP over here, yeah, 600k XP gained, that's quite a bit, what, no, no, I had one shot, oh, hell yes, and another one to the collection. I think they're gonna buff these at some point, so I'm collecting them until that, until that time. Just did a Molly random event, and that's actually the best thing I could have gotten for strength ammies. Beautiful. And there we go. Finally, I did miss the level kind of, but, um, you know, I, I'm catching it now. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, 3.25 million XP is like 80 hours or something. A little more than that, actually. Um, but yeah, it's been, uh, it's been pretty hard. I've been doing, I, I think it took me a week to pump this out. And there we go. The first inventory of Amethyst. Boy, do I want to go raiding. Let's do it. Ye Eight man team here. I haven't done raids in months. Raid number 73. Got nothing. Literally the most perfect raid right here. First of all, I got hunter first so that I can hunt these bats. And then I have mutadile afterwards so I can go cut the tree. So all I have to do really is, after they finish with this floor, I go and pick some f seeds up, and then I plant them here, get them their herb lore supplies, I come back, hunt some bats, and then once I'm capped out with bats, which I'm actually not sure how I'm going to be able to tell, because I can't see my points, uh, which really sucks, but uh, once I feel like I've done sufficient amount of bats, then I will go AFK the mutadile tree and just scrape up a little little more points from that as well. So it's actually really nice. However, I just realized there's not going to be a chest here. 
Oh no, I'm gonna have to drop all my bats. Damn it, man. Anyway, pretty good raid so far. I'm, I think this is the best I've ever had, so yeah, I'm happy with this. Good luck, guys. Oh my gosh, we got absolutely nothing. But holy crap, this was a really good raid. 22 minutes, not bad at all. And a very fast raid that was once again. Let's see, dragon arrows and uncut emeralds. Okay, so my plan for those dragon arrows is I'm going to open one of these lucky implings and I'm going to get a third age bow from it. And then I'm going to use dragon arrows with the third age bow. It's going to be sweet. I just got to correct this guy. I think he typoed there with the 11. And yeah, let's do the next raid. All right, an arcane on raid number 76. Let's check my loot. And what do I pull today? A dark relic. If only it was this account. If only. Anyway, that's good. Slayer XP. Hell yeah. Hey, he needs a medium clue scroll from me. And I have loads of eclectic implings in my uh, inventory here. So she probably drop some. In hopes to get one. Why? Come on. Give me something, baby. Show me the good stuff. I only have 20, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. Awesome. All right. Hand it over. There you go, buddy. Sweet. Master clue. Now, I will hand in this elite clue that I have not been able to complete in hopes of getting another elite clue that I can complete from raids. Let's see. Can I complete this master? I really do not know where that is. Ooh, it looks like I can. Uh-oh. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. I don't think you can pray versus these things, so the fact that he hit a zero is very lucky. Yeah, there we go. Beautifully done. Some air runes. Now, can we do the next step? Plus... Oh, I, I've seen this. Um, I hate these clues. <laughs> I have 11 HP. It's so, or 10 HP. And it's very hard to actually do these clues. So I believe I will struggle with this one. All right, let's see what I get. Uh, what kind of clue do I get today? Do I have to be there in the exact spot? Come on, son. Ooh, these are hard to do. I can't even do this clue. Damn it. No, wait. Yeah, it's a master. I, there's no further use for it for it oh no and the raid has begun what room is this is this shamans oh no it's rope beautiful this is the first time ever i've ever oh wait i was about to say this is the first time oh never mind cancel delete well above the average points right now we have 14 people we have 125,000 points total and i'm at 12.5k not bad for a skiller Oh, man, how did we not get... I guess it makes sense. We didn't have that much of a chance, but... Yeah, 218,000 points total. If only that XP bar would go away. But yeah, I did get 19,000 points, which I'm pretty happy about. That was a really long raid, though. Like, I I don't know. My, my team wasn't that good, but I, I can't really say anything because I'm not really helping that much. But yeah, there we go. Uh, XP is gone. So yeah, 19k points. It's actually not too bad. I'm probably just going to log, actually. But yeah, that was a pretty fun raid. I'm actually kind of enjoying Hunter. I used to hate it, but it's kind of fun to see like how fast I can do it. So that's a pretty good herb lore XP. I'll get, I'll give it that. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, lots of lizard and fangs, but I already got so many of those from my shaman grind. So I don't really need those, but you know, I'll take it nonetheless. Thank you very much smash the rocks 95 out of 92 mining hell yeah and raid number 78 a whole lot of nothing once again damn it man well i got 12k points and there were eight people so i was well below average i think what i should have done was instead of looking for shortcuts to mine and all that i should have just stuck with farming right away and that would have gotten me a lot more points more herb lore XP, some smithing XP. That's a lot of cash as well, about 140k, 130k in adamant plate bodies, so not too bad. And an arcane prayer scroll for Mr. Rage Skull. If I keep doing raids like that, it'll take me about a thousand hours to get the claws, but you never know, I could just get it, whoa, exact even, oh, I guess they have the same uh, table drop, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if I keep doing raids like that, it'll take me like a thousand hours on average to get claws, but hey, 
I could get them the very next raid. You never know. Good start to the raid. I got a rock. This should give me over like 3k points, which is sick. What? Are you... 2.2k points from that. Are you kidding me? What? I don't understand that at all because in an 8-man team, I got 2.4k points from that same obstacle. That is very strange. I don't... And look at all those points from Herblore. Hell yeah. Already at 10.8k and they haven't even started Ulm yet. That is pretty good. I'm well above average here in terms of total points as well. 100,000 points total and 14 people in this raid. So yeah, I'm balling here. And a Kodai Insignia for Tapella Raid KC80. And what do we get for raid number 80? Dragon arrows and more herb. What's the thing? What's the theme, dude? More herb lore XP every single time? I mean, what? what's going on? I don't need all this herb lore XP. I already got a lot banked. Look at that. Ooh, juicy. All right, I've got my main in here now, which will be helping with prep and also eating a lot of the bats that I make, which will increase my points by like 50%. So I'm really happy that the owner of this raid let me do that. I don't think it's a deterrent really to them at all. In fact, it should help them because I'm doing a lot of prep. So feels good. Oh my gosh, no way. 23.3k points, pretty damn good. I tried my darn this that raid. Didn't pay off, but hey, you never know. Maybe I got pure essence. 16 people in that raid, and I had about a 1 11th of the points. Of course, it would be that number. Uh, so yeah, I was well above average. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh baby, I hit the jackpot. Beautiful, pure essence. Oh, can make my own bloods at 77. Something I'm really looking forward to. Only have 1,200 left, so when I can finally do Blood Rune Crafting, I can make my own and won't have to buy them anymore. Really looking forward to that. In this episode, I learned how to 3-tick mine, did some clue scrolls, got another lucky impling, got 92 mining, mined some amethyst, and then did lots and lots of raids. I'm looking forward to using all the coal that I got to make loads of cannonballs for the Slayer grind. After that, 75 Slayer and the Granite Mall. This episode took about two months to create, so if you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like, and I will see you in the next one.